Call Hello Yahel Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of that great millstone. Shout on to the hopeful elect. Just want to bring out a few precepts here in the Old Testament that reflect the judgment that the Most High is about to exact upon the world for their wickedness. All right. And it, it's going to be in various forms. Is the Most High about to judge the world? In various uh, forms of destruction and judgment, and ultimately leading up into his ultimate judgment, which is thermonuclear destruction, which is the Most High's sword, okay? His glittering sword. This is in Deuteronomy 32 and 41. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold of, on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. Okay? I got this uh, um, this word wet to uh, explain the Most High is in uh, preparation stages of judgment, of destruction. All right? And, and who is um, the Most High to have to get ready for anything? or to prepare, okay, he can just click his finger, snap his finger at the, um, you know, at a simple dot, and it, and it be, um, come to fruition, but how much of a hefty judgment is, is going to befall the world if the Most High is actually, um, preparing it, man, he's actually, um, souping it up souping up destruction in in multiple ways and a plethora of avenues of death for the um inhabitants of the world man and just as it says for it's him um rendering of vengeance for the unto his enemies and the, which are they they that hate him which is all these people um in the world who reject the word of Yahweh Shemiyashai as disseminated by the men of Great Millstone, primarily. All right, and then um, subsequently, just the, the scriptures in general. All the people on this planet who refuse um, to to um, to perform. That you fail and refuse to perform the law, statutes, and commandments is is an enemy to the Most High, straight up. All right, and deserve destruction. Scriptures say that whoever, small or great, rich or poor, um, roughly paraphrasing, of any nation, uh, um, shall be shall be killed, shall be destroyed if. If you don't want to take heed, period. See, so um, the Most High is is working up um, a hefty destruction. He's in the preparation stages, preparing and making ready the judgment for the, for the world, man. All right, it says um, this word "wet" goes into sharpen. All right, and to sharpen is just um, another word for um, to make severe. When you look at that word in in the um, in the blue letter, the translation for that word, the Strong's goes into to sharpen goes into to causatively, meaning to cause something to to be um, sharpened. To be sharp, to cause it to be severe, to be fierce, verbatim in uh, uh, the Strong's for that word sharpen, man, or to wet, which is uh, um, which is synonymous. This is gonna get this little uh, this little definition. This is a sharpening stone, which is a whetstone. 
are used to sharpen the edges of steel tools and implements such as knives, scissors, scythes, razors, chisels, and hand, hand scrapers and plane blades through grinding and honing. <laughs> See, when you hone something, you can hone a power, hone an ability. Okay? That's what's going down right now um, in the form of the Most High Judgment. And, and ultimately, it's being honed in the form of the development and um, advancement of the thermonuclear missiles. Because as the days go on, fucking every single day, the um, the missiles are being advanced uh, technologically. They're, the destruction capacity is um, increasing, all right, because they're enriching uranium, all right? They're um, increasing the amount of, of, um, of, uh, different, you know, um, pretty much they're, they're souping up the missiles, man. All right. They're increasing the, the blast radius. All right. Increasing the, um, the amount of territory and surface area that these things fucking destroy. All right. Um, you see, you got the supersonic missiles. You got um, all this technological advancement to um, to make severe and to uh, to make devastating the the pretty much the outcome for these missiles to destroy more shit. All right, that's what's going down right now. The Most High is. Um, is wetting his glittering sword. All right. This is in uh, Psalm 7 and 10. My defense is of the Most High, which saveth the upright in heart. The Most High judgeth the righteous, and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath been his bow and made it ready. Okay? So the Most High has a sword, which is death, which is um, a killing instrument, in various forms, reserved and set aside for, um, for infidels and for the disobedient. All right? And the straight up, um, the, the enemies of the Most High... All right. He his sword is being wet. It's being sharpened. It's being prepared, it's being made ready. Okay? It's it's um pretty much making it worse. It's going to be a lot fucking worse off for you people. All right? For all you infidels and uh uh, uh defectors if you will. You motherfucking, uh, you, you, you pieces of shit who defy the most high every day. He's got a sword that's being wet. It's being sharpened to destroy you fucking people, man. All right. He's got it. He's got the proverbial sword, uh, um, on the, on the whetstone sharpening that motherfucker up to just, to just clean kill you all right i'll finish it off in ezekiel 21 and hmm and nine son of man prophesy and say thus saith yahweh bahashim shai say a sword a sword is sharpened and also furbished now as aforementioned the the um the sword that's being sharpened, the sharpening goes into to causatively to to um, to cause to be to be severe, causatively to make severe. So the severity 
of um, these missiles because the um, the sword that's being sharpened, we're going to find out that glittering sword is in reference to the missiles, okay? The, um, the sword bathed in heaven, the weapons of the Most High's indignation. For those that are in the know, it's all throughout the scriptures. It's plain that um, the weapons of the Most High's indignation are the missiles, all right? Is it an arrow shot from one end of the earth to the other? That's um, intercontinental, all right? Um, you've got... Um, the uh the scripture that that talks about how um the that battle of old was contained of um you know garments rolled in blood and uh and fucking um hand to hand combat. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So all throughout this Bible and uh, the, the elements melting with fervent heat, all throughout the scriptures, um, it prophesies and it plainly um, translates out to, to these fucking missiles, man. And that's that glittering sword. So it literally is saying it being it's being sharpened. It means that the severity is being um, turned up. It's being caused to be made more severe, meaning to destroy more, to be more devastating, man. To to be fierce. That's the other um, synonym in the Strongs for sharpen. So these missiles and the Most High's killing instrument is being um, uh, perfected. It's being increased. For to what? Let's get it. It says, it is sharpened for to what? To make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contains the rod of my son as every tree. All right. So these, um, these missiles are being increased. Uh, destruction capacity advanced for the purpose to destroy and, and, and with more efficiency okay and more um, to totality to fucking utterly annihilate that's what the Most High is doing right now by wetting his sword by sharpening his glittering sword man preparing and making ready for an ultimate judgment, destruction in this fucking place, man. All right? And that's why it says, should we then make mirth? Should it be hunky-dory times right now? Peaches and fucking cream with you niggas out here in, in the max of your folly? Okay? Absolutely not. And that's why the mass majority of these people are going to get fucking swallowed up out here. All right? We're to be taking heed and uh, buckled down, locked in more than ever in these last fucking moments of, of this, this left side of life, of Esau's world, man. All right. And that's just exactly what uh, the men of Great Millstone, the brothers, the true men of Yahweh Bashim Shai, are, um, are conducting our... And our, is, is the way in which we are conducting ourselves, man. All right? And just like it said, let me get back um, in Psalms real quick. And end it off on a good note. We were just in there. Psalm 7 and 10 says, My defense is of the Most High, which saveth the upright in heart. You see, so ultimately, if we are to stay true to how Bashim Shai and what is required of us, which is not hard, it's not um, 
a fucking uh, uh, a question of having to figure out this complex thing of what we're supposed to do, what is required of us. It's contained all here within the scriptures. So if we continue to do what's required of us, stay true to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we'll be saved out of that destruction. All right, that's the solace in it. But at this current moment, we are to continue to fucking condemn this wicked, sinful society, man. All right. And stand uh, with loyalty towards the throne, towards the real crown. Yahal Bashim Shai, who's about to take uh, uh, the entire universe back with the um with the with the huge fucking statement man in a huge way all right all praises to how bashimi al shai bahashim rakha kadash all right shalom